everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I made this affirming body moisturizer. Today I'm only going to be making a 100 gram batch and I'm going to be starting with a 100 milliliter glass beaker for my water phase. So the first ingredient is glycerin and we're going to be adding in 4 grams of this. This is a lovely humectant to help hydrate the skin. The next step we're going to be hydrating this xanthan gum soft in the glycerin. I added in 0.2 grams of it and you just want to mix it in until it's completely hydrated in the glycerin. Alright so hold up. You may remember me in my last video mentioning how I hate xanthan gum and leave on products which my opinion still stays the same on that. I just wanted to show you guys how you can incorporate xanthan gum into a moisturizer to be used as a stabilizer. So that's the whole reason I incorporated xanthan gum soft into this formulation, but if I were to make it again, I would definitely leave it out, especially since I'm using glycerol stearate and cetyl alcohol in this formulation. But if you're using just a live 1000, you're going to need some kind of stabilizer, and if all you got is xanthan gum, then I recommend using that. And if you're sitting there wondering, what the heck is a stabilizer? A stabilizer is basically just an ingredient you add into emulsions to make your emulsions last longer because no matter how good an emulsion is it will eventually you know maybe years later fall apart so a stabilizer will just help it last longer so if you use up your products really quickly I mean incorporating a stabilizer isn't as important but if you're making a product that maybe will take a long time to go through or if you're selling products you definitely want some kind of stabilizer in your emulsions or making sure it's just an emulsion that's going to stay stable. All right, sorry about that. Let's get back to the video. And then I'm gonna be adding in 54.1 grams of distilled water and just mixing that up. Then we're gonna be adding in another humectant, sodium lactate liquid. I'm gonna be adding in three grams of it and this is another hydrating ingredient. Then lastly for the water phase, I'm gonna be adding in some allantoin. This is a lovely soothing ingredient that I'm obsessed with and I'm adding in 0.5 grams of it. Then just giving everything one last good mix and setting that to the side and now we're using a 250 milliliter glass beaker for the oil phase. So I'm starting with 11 1000 which is our main emulsifier. This is Eco Certs and I'm adding in 7 grams of it. Next up is Glycerol Stearate. This is also another Eco Cert emulsifier. I'm using this as a stabilizer and as an emollient for this formulation and I'm adding in 2 grams of it. Then next up is 2 grams of cetyl alcohol. This will help thicken the moisturizer and also add some emollient properties. Then we're going to be adding in some pumpkin seed oil, 15 grams of it. And then we have some Lux Glide N350. This is a natural alternative to dimethicone, which I am using to help eliminate any soapy effect that the Olivum 1000 may cause. And I'm only going to be adding in 2 grams of it. So that is it for our oil phase. Now you want to take both of your beakers and put them in a water bath just by filling up a pan with like an inch or so of water and then putting it over heat and heating up both of your phases to 158 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius and holding it there for 20 minutes. So now that both of our phases have been heated and held, pour the water phase into the oil phase and then mix with a high shear mixer. You can use this overhead mixer I'm using or just go ahead and just use an immersion blender that works just as good as well. So now that our formulation has cooled, let's go ahead and add the cool down ingredients. First up is the very main ingredient and it is called Aptigym. This improves body tone and redefines the silhouette by reducing abdomen and thigh contour, arm sagginess, and decreasing body weight. It mimics the effect of endurance training with great results that are increased when combined with physical activity. So as you can see, this is a really cool, unique ingredient. It was all thanks to Heartfelt Beauty. I'll link her channel down below. She's the one that brought this to my attention and I just had to buy it after I heard about it. And I added in five grams of it. And the next ingredient we're going to be adding in is called Pepatite. This is another tightening ingredient. I wanted to use it alongside the Actigem, but the Actigem is really the main ingredient here. This is just going to be like a second addition one that you can add if you want, but it's not necessary. It functions as a skin tightener, which provides immediate tightening to the skin. And I added in two grams of the Pepatite. Now I'm going to be adding in some vitamin E oil, just 0.5 grams of it. Then some spearmint essential oil, and I'm just going to be adding in 0.2 grams of it. I only want a little bit. I think mint just sounds like it'd go perfectly with a firming body lotion, but you know what? You do you, whatever fragrance you want, or just make it non-scented. And then we're going to be adding in some calendula extract. I don't know why that word's always weird to say, but uh, apparently my camera wasn't recording when I added it in, but I promise I did, because there you see it. I only added in 2 grams and just mixed it all in. 
And lastly is our preservative. I'm adding in 0.5 grams of Liquid Dermal Plus and mixing everything one last time. So here came the problem. It really did not thicken up as much as I expected it to. So I mixed it again with my high shear mixer and this did help it thicken up just a little bit, but not as much as I really wanted it to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and package this up into its little jar and let it sit overnight to see if it thickens up at all. Because sometimes emulsions will thicken after about 24 hours. You know, that's when they get to their full viscosity, but we'll see. And then here I am just showing you guys me massaging it in. As you can see, it's kind of looks pretty soapy here, but honestly, I think it's just because I put so much on my hand or on my arm because it does massage in pretty quickly. All right, so here it is the next day. It did, it did thicken up just a little bit, but of course, nowhere near as um, I was hoping for. So here's what I did. I actually made a whole other batch because what didn't make sense to me is if you see my last video, my face cream with Olivum 1000, I literally used the same emulsifiers and same thickeners at the same percentages. So you would think it would turn out just as thick as my face cream, but it didn't. So I made a whole other batch and what I did is I used the same oil in my new batch as I did in my face cream. Because in this batch, as you can see, I used pumpkin seed oil. But in my last 11 1000 emulsion, I used macadamia nut oil. So I used pumpkin seed oil in this one and then macadamia nut oil in my new one that I made off camera. And the one with macadamia nut oil thickened up much more. So apparently if you change out the oils, it can change the end viscosity. I've never experienced this before, but apparently I am for the first time. Let me know if you guys have any um, experiences with this. It could honestly be maybe I just my scale was off and I accidentally added in too much water. I don't know. Just let me know if you've ever experienced this before because this came out a lot thinner than I expected even though I used the same percentage of emulsifiers and thickeners as I did in my last one. The only thing I changed was the oil. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Either way, this, the lotion's still great, you know? Still works, just not as thick as I expected. And I do want to mention that I am aware that different oils have different HLB values. So I'm not sure if maybe that is what's affecting the inviscosity. I just didn't think HLB affected viscosity so much, but maybe it does. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, just let me know your thoughts down below. But anyways, this is me massaging the moisturizer into my arm. As you can see, I used a proper amount on my arm this time. And it massaged in very nicely, no soapy effect. So if you are wanting to formulate with a Livin 1000, but you're dealing with a soapy effect from it, I definitely recommend adding in Cetyl Alcohol to help reduce that. I've been having good luck with incorporating Glycerol Stearate as well, but that's not necessary. And you can also use the Methicone or Lux Glide N350 like I did, and that should help eliminate the soapy effect as well. Let me know down in the comments below what tips you have to help reduce soapy effect from emulsifiers. We'll see what my um, viewers have to say, so check out the comments to see if they have any tips. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this body firming moisturizer. Uh, if I made this again, I'd definitely leave out the xanthan gum because, like I've said a million times, just not a fan of xanthan gum and leave-on products. It doesn't annoy me as much when it's used in my body as compared to my face, but, you know, if I had a choice, I'd leave it out, but I did it for you guys. <laughs> so here's the formulation all written out in 2%, so you guys can just easily scale this to however much you want to make. If you don't know how to transfer percents to a weighed out recipe, I'll link down below to a video that explains to you how to do that. I'll also link down below to my beginner series, so you guys, just in case you're a beginner, you can go back and watch my beginner series that is still in the works so yeah I'll link that down below also I do have a patreon where I write blogs that go right along with the recipes I make here on my channel so if you would like a written out format of these recipes along with written out directions that way you can print them out and then just you know have them at your disposal anytime go check out my patreon I also post two exclusive videos over there and all kinds of little extra things so check that out if you're interested and now let's move on to the patreon shout outs at Stardust Bath & Body Nature's Farm Girl, Kennedy's Essentials, Let's Blend, Creative with Love, Wallflower Wildflower, Heartfelt Beauty, at Sugared underscore Pineapple, KAJ Bath and Body, Blue Mint Soaps, Saytara, at Salt Air Label, Lenise Beauty, Ardur Naturals, Shark City Naturals, Ohana Lay, at Danny Botanicals, Eclectic Beauty Cosmetics, Escape Bath and Body, EC Naturals, 
and at Nino55 over on Instagram. Also, I sell products myself over on Etsy. Go check out my Etsy shop. It'll be linked down below along with all my lovely patrons. That's it. That's all I've got for this video. So that brings us to the end. Thanks so much for watching. You're all freaking amazing. I love all your support. It means the world to me. And hope to talk to you guys in my next video. Later. I'm stuck in the motions. I've been consumed by the wrath of time like I'm from. I'm shattered in this life. It's still the path that I've chosen. Because I've had a vision. Now I'm on a mission to find myself with you.